Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, Sensor 360 Investor. Today I'm going to do an update on a dividend strategy for the, uh, the wealth side of the portfolio. And this is an update based on the Dogs of the Dow, which was presented in a, an earlier video. So within our 360 framework, we're actually focused on um, wealth, which is where all of these will eventually lead to. Okay, so the strategy is Dogs of the Dow. It's pretty pretty well known. And before I move on, so just a quick word. Chance of providing financial advice, please pause, speed, and continue. Thank you. Okay, so without much further ado, a quick recap uh, of what was presented in the, the first video. But basically, so here's some key points about that. Um, you can go back and watch the, uh, the original video, and I'll link that in. Uh, later at the end, so you can watch that. But basically, it's a uh, dividend strategy. Selects from the Dow Index, which is the uh, 30 blue chip companies, selects the 10 highest paying dividend yield stocks. You buy, hold for a year, so you get the uh, tax breaks, and you basically then collect the dividends. And over historically, it has done extremely well. And it's, and beat the Dow index since 2000. But we'll, today we'll see how it's doing against the uh, SP. Okay, so that, these were the, the 10 stocks that were selected. And um, these, this was the price at the date as of 1227. And this was the expected yield going forward. So, so these were the, the ones with the highest yield. So if we look at these, and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to assume a a portfolio of $100,000. So each one's going to have an equal weight. So we'll have about 10000 in position. So based on the opening price, so for now I've just I've assumed the price that's on the previous chart. So this will be slightly different. And for the next update, I'll, I will adjust this. And so this is the number of shares that you would buy. And this is the extended cost. So if we put all of the money in, we would have cost us ninety nine thousand two hundred seventy nine, which which leaves us with a cash balance of six twenty, in addition to these investments, and with the pricing as of uh, April twenty fifth, so that this that was the prices as of end of day yesterday. Current value comes to this. So portfolio value is at ninety five nine fifty one, and we can see it's dropped a little bit from our costs so we are down a, a tad however in the first quarter dividends received we've received 1124 and then to, and so in total the portfolio is down 2303 remember we have 620 in cash there as well that's why you see that uh, drop so it's about a, a drop of about 2.3 percent again from where we started and if we then compare to that to the s p benchmark the benchmark is down 14.79%. So we've handsomely beat the, the S&P 500 benchmark, even though we are turned down. Now, remember, this is just uh, a quarter in. And so as we collect more dividends, this picture will change. And then by the end of the year, let's see how well this performs. So a bit of sweet right now. Sweet that we are beating the benchmarks by a country mile. Uh, bitter because we are down a little bit slightly down so overall a good start um, to to the uh to the year in fact since so uh, the this the dogs of the dow actually compares to the dow index for the next update i'll also include the uh, the dow as a benchmark performance for the strategy as well okay so that wraps it up for this update on the dividend strategy for both sides of the portfolio. Hope you enjoyed this, and I will do another update uh, in the uh, foreseeable future. That closes out for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And if you aren't a subscriber, please do subscribe. Goodbye.